Everybody Crow back again with other Zacharia pinball table. We're looking at the eighth retro table. Uh, we're looking at Farfalla. You know, I just realized I'm doing these alphabetically <laughs> instead of the order they came out. But that's fine. Whatever. So let's uh, jump into Farfalla. We're, I'm going to uh, do a little flyover. You'll see first game and then I'm going to cherry pick another game that I'll show in the video and then uh, give some final thoughts on the table. All right, there we go. Farfalla. There's our back box, uh, just the regular Farfalla back box uh, modified with the uh, score, re score reels. I keep calling them rolls and I couldn't think of the right name for it. But yeah, those are the score wheels. So uh, let's see what we got here. We got actually a little bit of two out lanes and one down the middle. Uh, another unusual uh, flipper layout. But again, this is one that's more likely to drain than the previous tables I've been playing. Um, let's see, we got 10, 10, 100, 1,000. I'm not sure what that's in reference to, but it looks like um, lighting these up will do something. I'll have to take a look at the rules really quick before I start playing and um, kind of explain what... I, I honestly don't remember. Maybe that's the point value of these side targets. That's my best guess without looking at the rules, but I'll check out the rules and uh, when we jump cut to the first game, I'll try and explain what I see. Getting into the first game here, um, it turns out that hitting the slings is what advances that 10, 100, and 1,000. And what that actually is, is the score of the rollovers. I'm guessing both the ones at the bottom and the ones at the top. Uh, so I, I wonder if you hit a uh, you know, thousand, I think it does reset the 10. We'll find out shortly. And then the ones in the middle are actually rollovers that are worth various points. So let's, let's see. Hey, all right. See ya. Abba Lincoln. Whoa. This is another one of those tables where you can't hold the ball. Oh, even hitting the pop bumpers is what is, uh, changing that score. So it's a, well, okay. I got a thousand points for that. I believe. It's another high-scoring table. I got a score of 16,000. I'm placed 245th. That, well, that was worth 1,000 points right there, too, but didn't stay and play long. All right. Boom. Uh, oh, man. <laughs> you are getting a, a quite a score pretty quickly, but... Again, you're losing the ball really quickly, too. Again, those pop-uppers at the top, 50 points. But they almost are less important than this table. Last ball. 50-50. There we go. It almost seems like hitting those rollovers might be your best bet for... Because I don't really know how much of a score I'm getting. Ooh, I kind of nudged the table, so it drained. Okay. <laughs> okay, we'll see if we can do better than that. Nowhere. That was a sign. I needed to end that game. Stay up there. Stay a while. Stay forever. There. Fortunately, when it goes back and forth like that, um, you, you usually have a really good chance of getting it back on the flipper. Thousand points to take it. I was like staring at the score, like trying to figure out how much points I'm getting for those. There you go. like just like when do I hit the flipper boom come on 
up at the top. Ooh! If I hadn't, if I hadn't hit the left flipper, the ball would still be on. Okay, there you go. I, th I thought I could save it without nudging. <laughs> Not that time. Get up there. Oh, there you go. You're up to 29th now, huh? Yeah, it's just a matter of... Figuring out when you need to nudge and flip. Trying not to nudge too much as well. Get up there. There you go. You're back up there. Keep hitting that post like that. There you go, you got us. There you go, back up to the top. Thousand points. Come on. Don't just come back down when I hit you. Somehow, that didn't drain. Oof! Oh! My best game! We're at number six! No! Why does the last ball have to go like that? I think I'm, I'm done here, because I'm at number six. Oh, man. All right, that is Farfalla Retro. And uh, I gotta admit, I got kind of addicted to this one because I kept getting better, a good, a really good score, and then a better score, and then a better score. So I know I could do better. I know I could do better. I got up to, what, sixth, sixth place on the leaderboard, and I, I could keep going forever and see if I could get the first, but I kind of just want to stop and move on at this moment. But yeah, it's really fun to... Um, to keep the ball in play. And the longer you can keep the ball in play, the more points you're going to get, well, obviously. But it is also kind of strange how, like, everything's a mystery, how many points you're getting. So sometimes you'll look and you're not getting many points at all. And then sometimes you'll look up and you'll have, like, 10,000 more points than you thought you did. Kind of a crazy table. And it's, uh, you know, again, just pretty addictive. To, you know, this is going to really challenge your nudging skills and your flipper skills in order to keep the ball in play. And it, it's... It's a really good table. I really like it. So, yeah, I, try it out. I mean, if you want to, you know, test out your nudging skills, this is a really good table to do it. So, uh, yeah, there you go. That's all I have to say. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.